Hi guys! I'm so... I'm just in such a good place lately. I don't know. I'm, I'm just really happy right now in this time of my life. So, anyway, besides that... So, today's video, I'm finally getting to me moving. I have talked about this in my other videos, and I just wanted to sit down and, you know, fill you guys in, because... It was kind of a lot, like, it's kind of a lot, like, moving is so stressful, especially during a panini, and it's just like, yeah, so basically, I'm gonna give a tour in the next clip, but I just wanted to tell you guys why we moved. So, we were pretty much gypped, scammed, whatever, finagled. Basically, what happened was, when we went to tour apartments and signed our lease, which learn from me do not do this um they told us that because they were at 98 percent capacity that our apartment that we would be living in is not available to look at so they showed us this nice like apartment like everything was like stainless steel it was beautiful there was like a nice walk-in closet all this hold on i need to it was a nice walk-in closet, all that, so beautiful. And then move-in day, we move in. We're in, we're like literally right by the sewage, like where the sewage drains in the backyard. Our backyard is just mud and rocks. Like we couldn't even use the backyard because it was so disgusting. Like I'm gonna see if I have a picture of it I could insert, but it was just horrible. And on top of that, they, the, management or whatever constantly had stuff being done where the people had to come into our apartment and it was just really stressful because we were in the midst of a pandemic and at that point we didn't know what like covid really was so like just having people constantly in and out of your apartment made me never want to be there so i i wasn't there a lot honestly and it was annoying because the rent was so overpriced because we lived in the nicest area in Cincinnati, I think. Um, and it was just basically a scam. So we ended up living there for 10 months, not even 10 months. It was like nine and a half months before we were like, absolutely not. I'm not doing this anymore. So we found this beautiful townhouse um, and luckily it's literally right next to my parents i feel so like i think it's so cool that i could move back next to my parents because my parents are currently building a house so they're staying in a townhouse while they do that so they're not going to be here that much longer um before they move away like two hours so i was like Parents, I love you. Um, you can't get rid of me, bitch. What the fuck is it gonna take to get rid of this bitch? You can't get rid of me, bitch! Yeah. I'm next door neighbors with my parents, and now I can bug my mom all the time. Um, and it's really nice, because we actually basically just take up this whole building. So, yeah, it's basically equivalent to a house, because it's split. It's a house split in the middle with on each side, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's really nice. I really love it. I love the area um and yeah so that's basically why let's get into the tour of it this is the overall like empty uh what's it called living room area i'm obsessed with that fireplace like what also it's been a dream for me to have this kind of floor because i don't like carpet at all for whatever reason so it's really nice Look how big. The selling point for this place too was how huge like the closets and stuff are. So this is the, one of the pantries, which is like, you can't even tell, but like I could, like I don't need this big of a pantry, but actually I do because I can't stop snacking. So it's kind of like, this is the layout. I really like it. It's like an open layout. Like the living room's right here and then the kitchen you can just like walk around more pantry Get another angle of the kitchen the shoe closet like okay and then 
have a garage, which is really nice too, because it's snowing out. Cute little garage moment. I'm probably gonna turn the garage, honestly, into a workout, like a gym. Okay, and then there's upstairs. I love whatever this lighting fixture is. I'm obsessed with it. Um, as you can see, ooh, something popped up. Yeah, it's really, really cute. And then the stairs. It's a view from like downstairs. I don't know what style this is, but I'm obsessed, so. Okay, so I'll show you the master first. This is the master. It's bigger than our current room, which I really like, but the closet, you guys, like huge this is literally probably like our current closet right now is just one of those like one row closets so that's really nice a huge walk-in and then and then there's the shower area but it's a his and hers oh i'm like out of breath And we get this whole nice closet. We could fit like dressers in there and stuff. That's nice. And then this guest bedroom. <laughs> Make a phone on. I feel like you can't see how spacious it is, but it has like one of these showers, which I just actually showered in. And honestly, too good. <sighs> and then another ginormous walk-in closet so yeah it's really really cute i'm really excited to move in um our last apartment just was like had so much bad energy because we moved the day before quarantine started so that whole place has just been negative um whereas this place and on top of that like not enough space honestly so this is our new humble abode. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I have been living here now for a minute and I absolutely love it. Um, I don't know if I'll do an updated like tour where everything's done. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. But I'm honestly not an interior decorator or anything like I that's the one thing I absolutely know I'm shit at is like seeing a room and being like, oh my God, yes. Like this needs to go here. This should go here. I need to hang that up on the wall. Can't do it. Not me, sis. So I don't know. Like it's not anything special. Like, so yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love you. I love the continuous support you always give me. Um, and check my links down below, my OnlyFans, my Instagram, all that will be down below in the first link that says, like, my social medias. So, yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, baby.